Welcome back to the second part on how to join two layers in QGIS. And it's important that you might see the first part, so I advise you to go back if you haven't. Otherwise, we keep on going. All right, you need two layers this time. One is the point layer of the city of Melbourne, and the second part is the second layer is the one which holds the property information, the individual points. So what you do is you add the layer, which we created before. And be aware what kind of projection you're using. VGS84 is when you're importing something with a longitude and latitude. You add this and don't be worried. This is a large data set, nearly 400,000 points. It might take you a while to do so. What you have here is now the data set, and it is in a wrong projection, so to speak. So what we do, we change projections and we save it as a new file. Save feature as, and we save it, let's call it property data and tools data set 2018, and we want to have it in UTM55S. UTM55 South, or Universal Transmercato is a projection which keeps the units consistent in meters. So when you're doing a distance calculation from one point to another, you're getting meters and not degrees or anything else. We're changing now to a UTM755 and we export it. That might take a moment, large data set again, so it takes a bit to export. I advise you now to open a new project because that makes it much easier. So. We don't want to save the current one, we just clean it and we add the new layers which we just created. So we go, layer, add layer, vector layer, search for the one we just saved, the center of Melbourne or the, sense, uh, or the um, property data and tools, 55, look for the shape file, add as well as center of Melbourne, shapefile, okay, add, works. And what you see is that there is one single point in the middle which has a different color, that's the center of Melbourne. I changed properties so we can see it a little bit better. I added as a star, fly, so here is the center of Melbourne. What we want to do now is calculate the distance from any other property to this center. How do we do this? It's uh, not a, such a large task actually because the computer can do that all for us. We create a distance matrix. Distance matrix you can find under vector, analysis tools, distance matrix. The distance matrix is from the center to the other points. And you have to then say what kind of target ID you want to keep. This is important because you want to connect that data set afterwards back to the original data set. You only want to add sort of the distance. So we call it it's the ID. It's here at the base we have an ID field which you can use. And then another thing is you can add a uh, prefix. No. No need. Okay. So we run this. And that might take a while. So I'm going to cut the video into pieces so that this one is standing out on its own.
et voilà. We just created this, et voilà. The distance matrix is created. And if you look at the attribute table, you can see, or if you can see it in a minute, whenever it loads, you can actually abort this. You don't need to have the whole data set, but you can. What you see is the input data point, which is your center of Melbourne, the target ID, which is your um, property ID, and then you have the distance in meters. It's quite precise. But in case, for example, when you want to do the distance from one data set which has multiple IDs, like bus stops, then you have to have an ID for your bus stops and then a target ID for your properties. So keep always both in mind. The first thing we can do is just represent this. So we want to represent that, that we can see the distance. What we do is go into properties and change the colors to showing the distance by making a graduated symbology and then change this to, let's say, everything below two and a half kilometers until five kilometers until 10 kilometers and everything above it okay. If you apply this, you can see there is like these concentric circles surrounding the center of Melbourne with two and a half and five kilometers radii. What you next want to do is actually combine the two data sets. And now it's really interesting because you have one data set with the distance and one data set with the information. Both have the same ID. So what you can do is go and connect the two layers by ID. You double click on it and then on the left side you have multiple elements and you have something called a join. You can join, so you press plus and then you choose the layer distance matrix, the target ID, and you want to join it by ID. And voila, you press OK, and OK again. If you now open the attribute table of your initial data set, You have all of the, inf uh, the information which you had prior, but you also have at the end the distance matrix distance. Great. So now we can use this or export it into a CSV and use it in any other software. We can also just add something else, like we change the symbology, exactly what we did beforehand. Distance matrix distance. Classify and apply. You can also then add the street to maps underneath and stuff like this. So we can use this software to then connect information about distance between two layers doesn't matter if it's an amenity or a distance amenity. And this is how you then can form a argument about a distance towards a graveyard or a school has a positive or a negative association with the price or the rental agreement.